Hey, Count. Um, how are you? I'm walking uh, Aquila, actually, well, I'm tiring Aquila out. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go uh, hunting for uh, mountain bikes. I've been uh, missing mountain biking. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, uh, well, forgiveness. You mentioned uh, forgiveness uh, a little while ago, and um, I think that uh, my idea, my definition of forgiveness is something along the lines of uh, somebody does something to you that you could understand. Like, I understand why you did that. Um, then you either, you either try, to, you try to come up with then uh, a solution to that. Like, uh, for instance, uh, a, a person had, uh, basically a person... Um, I trusted uh, to look after uh, paying some of my bills and things like that, so I trusted them with my bank account. And uh, something happened, they needed money, and they used my money uh, for what they needed, and they didn't pay my bills. Um, and so when I came back, uh, you know, I, my money was gone, my bills weren't paid, and, uh, you know, it. It was it was a nightmare, and uh, yeah, I figured out I figured out what went wrong for this person, um, and uh, did all I could to fix it. The thing was though that like they couldn't they couldn't pay me back. Um, they they actually they did they they did try, and it lasted over a period of time where I finally just said uh, I needed to get some sort of forget point of forgiveness. Um, so I said you know never mind no more payments don't forget about it. Um, mostly because I didn't think they could ever pay me back and also uh, however long, however many years this was going to stretch out this, you know, these, these small payments over years and years um, pretty much just kept the kind of like, you know, that sense of betrayal alive um, so I needed to like forgive them just so I could, you know, go back to feeling better um, and just not think about it anymore um, and then uh yeah, I mean, then much later, they, they actually they needed some help with something, and uh, I was I was totally unwilling to give it. Um, you know, I didn't I, I didn't want to like I didn't it wasn't vindictive or anything like that. I didn't want to hurt them. Um, so I, I tried to be like, well, like you know, it's just something I can't do. Um, and uh, which might not which might strike you as like maybe not being that's not forgiveness, but for me it, for me it was. Um, you know, I I, uh, I did what I could to put the the pain of the past behind me, um, and uh, I think kind of opened myself up in any kind of similar vein after that would uh, not only would it set me up for another possible disappointment, but it would kind of like it it I could almost feel it start to move the 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 the, the built up the healing. I could almost feel it like start to move the healing aside to reach way back into the past to that terrible memory. So I'm like, no, it's, I can't be involved in that. Like, how, how much longer till it, um, that, that past memory just seems like it happened yesterday. So I want to avoid that. So, yeah, so, yeah, for, I think forgiveness is a must. Um, but then, you know, then things change so that um, those negative feelings don't come back again, um, which typically requires a certain amount of, like, you know, uh, you know, limitations and boundaries and, and whatnot that uh, weren't there before. Though, actually, now that I'm talking about forgiveness, um, I really think that the the greatest uh, forgiveness um, would be like for for yourself. Um, just to say to yourself, uh, um, man, I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to have bad judgment at times. Um, um, and you're just like, well, I'm just going to do the best I can to, uh, to fix any, any, you know, problems I cause and not cause them again in the future, um, and forgive myself for it so that, so that, you know, at the very least you don't feel angry at yourself. Um, and also I, th I think that helps like when you get the idea that like, to forgive yourself is also to uh, adapt your behavior so you don't uh, unearth uh, any past uh, negativity. Um, that also gives you a real clear framework 
to uh, who you are and what you're prepared to do and what you're prepared not to do. Um, you know, like there's certain things I don't want to have to forgive, you know, and especially myself. I, don't, I certainly don't want to um, try to forgive myself for betraying somebody's trust, let's say, um, or try to forgive myself by living a life of lies. Um, cause I think those things, I don't think I would be able to like gloss that over and bury that deep. Um, I think I'd end up uh, thinking about that for the rest of my life, so. Yeah, even, I mean, even if, say, like, actually, even if I didn't, even if nothing negative happened, actually, um, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to think back to, like, what I'm capable of and remember that moment, like, you know, like, say I got away with something, um, I still would have to forgive myself for, and, uh, there are certain things I'd rather not, um, have to even try to do that, so. That's part of, I guess, that's part of why I like such, like, I like living such a simple life. It doesn't, uh, I don't have, uh, a lot of the, like, a lot of the life quandaries that sometimes people come up against. Um, you know, that's not my, uh, that's not a, that's not a part of my small little pond. Oh, well, all right, well, I'm waking up. Time to go and, uh, count. Pleasure to talk at you. And, uh, I hope you talk back and, uh. See you in the tubes.